Ok, as web developers, we really need to address the elephant in the room. Holy shit, is that a f***ing elephant? The front-end world is notorious for being way more complicated than it needs to be, and most of the time, we, as developers, have little to no idea what our code is doing behind the scenes. This is why Venge.js's simplicity feels like a breath of fresh air. Ven is able to provide component support, state reactivity, and a powerful templating system all in under 140 lines of code. I looked at this impressive performance in a previous video, but recently, this post from the framework author managed to surprise me again. So, with just a few more bytes, Ven is now able to handle both client and server-side rendering. This small yet powerful codebase is perfect for diving into the rendering topic and to understand the implementation details behind every modern UI library. So let's go through the whole process of building a client-side rendered app, then render it on the server, and then finally hydrate it to come full circle. For a bit of context, a counter component written in plain vanilla JavaScript would look like this. Of course, the developer experience could be greatly improved by moving to a reactive declarative approach. For the price of less than 1 kilobyte of JavaScript sent over the wire, we can add Van in our codebase and refactor the component into something a bit more familiar. Now our counter has reactive state, a templating mechanism, and a clean, simple event handling solution. This is client-side rendered, which means that the browser receives a blank page from the server and then builds the entire UI on its own. There are pros and cons to this approach, and you can check the video link into the top right corner for more details on the matter. Long story short, an alternative to CSR is server-side rendering, where the user sees some actual meaningful HTML instead of a blank screen while the app is built on the client. So let's implement SSR next. We'll build a basic Node.js server, which computes JS component into static HTML, and then sends this HTML to the client. Then, of course, this HTML needs to be hydrated on the client so that the counter gets its internal state value and the associated event handlers. In a server.js file, we'll use the basic node HTTP module and start an HTTP server at a random port. To keep things simple, for any type of incoming request, we'll just compute our app and return the resulting HTML. For SSR, we are using Minivan. It is fairly common to rely on a templating engine on the server, and most big players have similar takes on this problem. The counter component has to be environment agnostic, so it will suffer some slight adjustments. First, the client and the server use different Venge.js flavors, so we need to pass the van object as a property. On top of that, the component needs to be hydrated later, so I'm marking it accordingly, while also providing a basic way to serialize its internal state. Now, when we access the app, we can see the static HTML computed and displayed in the browser. With the server-side rendering implemented, we can now focus on hydration. This is a JavaScript process that runs in the browser once the static HTML is loaded and displayed. Back in the server.js, I am adding a script tag pointing to a new JavaScript file. Requests to JS resources will be mapped by the same handler, so let's make sure we are serving the correct JS files when they are requested. Yes, we are pointing to a client.bundle.js file, but this is the distribution version we'll build in a second. For now, let's create a plain client.js file which imports Venge.js and the counter component. Here, we want to scan the DOM for elements that need to be hydrated, and then simply use Ven Hydrate to replace the static DOM element with a newly computed counter component. Finally, let's use ESBuild to bundle our client.js code, start the Node.js server again, and see the whole thing in action. This is a very naive implementation, and your current Next.js or Svelkit implementation uses a way more complex SSR and hydration implementation. However, the core ideas are still the same, and at least now you know why your Hello World frontend app uses Node.js, a bundler, and a handful of other libraries. Venge.js is a very cool project, full of interesting concepts that can make you rethink your take on web development, so you should really check out their website. Until next time, thank you for watching.